kids! I'm going to read you a story today. My name is Andy Dean and I wrote some picture books and they are published by Nomad Press. This book is called Fossil Huntress. It's a non-fiction picture book biography. So this is a true story about a real person. When Mary Leakey was a little girl, she and her father liked to learn about the past. They liked to look at cave paintings. Mary was fascinated. Why did people paint on rocks, she wondered. As she grew up, Mary didn't go to school like the other children. She read books about the things that interested her, such as bones from the past. These are called fossils. Mary became very good at drawing fossils. She wanted to be a paleontologist. She wanted to learn about the secrets of the past. When she was older, Mary met a scientist named Louis Leakey. She illustrated a book he was writing and traveled with him to Africa. Africa is a land of sun and heat, of zebras, elephants, and giraffes living free and wild. And it is a land that holds secrets from the ancient past. Mary wanted to find fossils and learn all those secrets. Africa was where she could learn to be a paleontologist. She loved the sun and the grassland all around. She loved the animals that moved across the land. Most of all, she loved digging in the dirt with Lewis and their team of scientists looking for fossils. Everyone on the team wrote notes about the fossils they found. They described the land where the fossils were discovered. They measured, drew, and were very, very careful with each fossil. Mary insisted that everyone follow directions and do careful scientific work. In Africa, Mary found a skull that was about 16 million years old. She made this important discovery on Rusinga Island in Lake Victoria. The skull had belonged to the ancestor of an ape. Later, Mary made another discovery at a place called Olduvai Gorge. She found pieces of bone that fit together to form part of a skull. It was part of the head of an early human. This skull was almost two million years old. It was the first of its kind ever found in East Africa. Years later, in the same part of Africa, Mary and her team discovered animal footprint fossils. Among the animal tracks, Mary found footprints from early humans. These early humans are our ancestors. Mary's discovery was important because it showed that our ancestors walked upright on two feet early in our history. Mary studied these footprint fossils for many years. She worked with lots of other people and always had her dog nearby for company. She learned many secrets of the past. As she got older, kneeling on the ground got harder. Mary decided to stop working in the field. She lived in Africa, the land of sun, grass, and fossils until she passed away. Today, Mary's discoveries still inspire paleontologists. The end.